All right, we're going to start with chapter 2.3. This ought to be getting kind of redundant and a little bit easier for you guys. Again, go to New, Standard Entrance IPT, Create, open up your Origin, go to Sketch. I'm going to try this plane this time. And I see the overall length is 4. So I'm going to go to my line command, kind of run along that origin, click it, come back again, left click, and I'm going to type in 4, enter. Go to dimension, pick the end of the line, pick the origin, type in 2, and that will center it up for me. Just use your center scroll button, scroll out, <coughs> excuse me. On each side, the line is going to be 1.75, so I'm going to choose the end point, 1.75, enter, go to line command again, go to this side, 1.75, enter, and at this point, I'm just going to draw the rest of it the way it looks, kind of like here, here, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to add the dimensions. I'm going to go dimension, choose the bottom line, choose the top line, and that is 2.5. And I know this line is 1.25, enter. And so you got to do a little math here. 4, take away 1.250 and divide it by 2 and that will give me the length from this point to this point which is 1.375 now that should be all of the dimensions that I need for this part with the perimeter now I got uh, let's look three holes here so I'm going to Grab a circle. I'm just going to drop that in. And those are half inch, 0.5, enter. I'm going to go to dimension from the bottom to the center, 0.75. Some of these are kind of hard to read in the book. And this one is also 0.75. Do the same thing on this side. I'm, I'm just going to try to run along here and pick that same 0.5 dimension should be right on the money 0.75 okay and then from here to the center is 0.75 enter and last we have a hole in the center here I'm going to come down the diameter is 1.25 enter and just to be sure I'm going to dimension it from one side to the center should be 2 and then from the bottom to the center should be 1.25 kind of made a mistake there I'm just going to double click it 1.25 enter now, I got all of my dimensions that I need for a 2D sketch. I'm going to finish sketch. And again, it's kind of turned around on you. I can leave it here and extrude it, but again, I like to kind of turn it around. And what you can do is just straighten that up. And I'll show you guys a little trick here. You can right click your cube and go set current view as home view, fixed distance. So no matter where I turn it, what I do I can come here to this home button and it'll straighten it right back up but when I extrude I like to tilt it a little bit that way I can see which direction the extrusion is going so I'm gonna go extrude come out here and click and that extrusion they tell us is a, a quarter of an inch so I'm gonna type in 0.25 enter and then I'll just straighten that back up and that'll get us completed exercise 2.3 again go back to the uh, second video do your title block 
your IDW, turn that in for grade. 